Before I get started with the application, prepping your skin is key. So you wanna make sure that you're fully hydrated, you've applied some eye cream on, maybe a little bit of lip balm. The no makeup makeup look really requires great prep for the skin. One of my favorite products and something I've been using for over 10 years now is the Secret Brightener by Laura Mercier. This will actually help to not only set your concealer, but it will make it last all day. Just dip it right on the lid, go right under the eyes with a really light touch, even work your way up to the eyelid. Works really well as the eyeshadow primer as well. Using a shadow stick is a great alternative versus using your powdered shadow. It looks a lot more natural, it's quick and easy, and all you have to do is just blend it in with your fingers. When applying the cream shadow, there's really no right or wrong way. You're just going right at the start of your lashes, working your way up, and then just use your fingers to blend it out. One of my favorite tips to share when applying mascara is to actually turn the brush down so you're using just the tip of the applicator to initially apply the mascara. So I'll start by turning the brush up. So I'm using just the tip of the applicator and I'll get right into the roots of the lashes and go back and forth to coat them. Our next step is to apply some bronzer to give a little bit of warmth to the skin. You're welcome to use blush, just make sure that the color is not too bright so it doesn't take away from our no makeup makeup look. Okay, so to finish off our look, I'm just going to be using a lip balm that has a light tint to it. You can use something sheer, something even like a gloss, just to add that nice finished touch.